Hey guys, Michael here with Hello Cupcake, it's me, and today is uh, November 23rd, 2022, and how are you? The reason it's so smoky is because I am burning some sage today, and um, whenever I don't feel good or I have any kind of like nasal congestion or um, just feel a little under the weather, I always burn some sage and... Um, just kind of smoke out the house with it because um, sage kills bacteria, especially like airborne yuckies. And um, I also inhale it kind of like you would a cigarette and hold it in my lungs and then expel it through my nose. So then that way I clear everything out. Now, this is not a medical, like, advisory or whatever. It's just what I do for my personal self. Um, so, I don't recommend this. I'm not telling you what to do. It's just what I happen to do. But... Anyways. So, enough about that. And my homeopathic healing remedy things that I use um uh, I'm a little upset this morning because uh I got up got dressed got ready and drove all the way into town just to get to the YMCA and find that the pool was closed today after we were told that it was going to be open on Wednesday or, I mean, Monday, we were told it was going to be open Wednesday and Friday. So, um, kind of upset about that, because I really didn't have the gas to make it into town today. Especially with having to, um, drive over to my sister's house tomorrow for Thanksgiving. Um, really did not plan on using that gas if I didn't have to, but... Um, yeah, I... I also had planned on uh, going to urgent care this morning because, like I said, I'm feeling just a little bit under the weather. Got a little bit of a stuffed nose and a little, like, scratchy throat tickle. Um, yesterday was, a, like, a whole opera of bullshit that I had to go through. Um, I called my doctor and, um, or, I'm sorry, I called my doctor's office and uh, told them that I needed to come in to get seen by somebody. And they're like, well, you can't come in if um, until you have a PCRV test. or." So and I'm like, the whole point of being a doctor is to treat your patients. I'm like, and if I need that test, that test can be administered while I'm there. They're like, no, you can't even come into the clinic unless you have this test done. I'm all, okay. First of all, I'm I'm done with your bullshit and tell... Like, it's the same office manager who has had nothing but fucking attitude this whole time during COVID. I'm like, first of all, I'm done... With you telling me and other patients that we cannot be seen by our practitioner unless we jump through hoops. You are an office manager. You do not get to make that call. You are not imbued with those powers. And I don't care if Jesus or whatever deity you worship appeared before you and said the only way to salvation and for all of your family members to be healthy, wealthy, and wise is to deny access to medical for the, like, for the masses, unless they jump through all these hoops. Like, I understand protocol, but when the CDC and everyone else has come out and just basically said, we're never not going to have this shit, so move it along, that's it. If you're following the science... That is it. It is saying, we are never going to not have this. Move along. So, I'm not going to harp on that too much. But So, I'm like, okay, where can I get a test? 
that will be gracious enough to allow me to come in to see somebody. Well, you gotta go to urgent care. There's a, a test bank right outside. You pick up one of those tests, you do it, and within an hour or so, you get your results back. I'm like, okay, fine. I will go play your stupid game. So, I went to the library first and got a COVID test from the library and it came back negative. Drove into town, took the hospital one, and um, handed it to the lab tech. And I'm like, I need this back as soon as possible because I need to get in to see somebody today and I can't do it until I get this. Oh, okay, well, um, this whole batch is going in to be tested right now, so it'll be like an hour or so. This was at 9.45, or I'm sorry, no, 10.15 in the morning. I didn't get my fucking lab results back until 3 p.m. So, when I finally got my lab results back, I called, and I'm like, okay, got my lab results back, it was negative, now I need to come in and see someone. Well, we don't have any appointments available. I said, what the fuck do you mean you don't have any appointments available? When I talked to you this morning, you said you had appointments available that I couldn't even come in until I had this, like, taken care of. Well, the earliest we could see you is Tuesday. I'm like, Tuesday doesn't work for me. I have, like, like, next Tuesday, not yesterday Tuesday, but I was like, that doesn't work for me. Wednesday, I'm going to be around a bunch of old folk. Thursday, I'm going to be around a bunch of old folk. Friday, I'm going to be around a bunch of old folk. Saturday, I'm going to be around old folk. And then Monday, I'm going to be around old folk again. So, I need to know if I'm contagious and I want to get ahead of this before I get much sicker. I'm diabetic. I have this going on, this going on. Well, I'm sorry. You could go to urgent care. I'm like... I can't go to urgent care because urgent care is closed. So, what? <laughs> like, you should have told me that there was no openings this morning when I called. There shouldn't have been any of this like, oh yeah, go get this test and we can take care of you. I'm like, all I literally need is 10 minutes with a provider. I don't care if that 10 minutes is during their lunch. I don't care if that's 10 minutes over the time that they were supposed to clock out. I just need 10 minutes for them to come in, st stick a probe up my nose, look at it, look at the back of my throat, say, okay, this is what it looks like, bam, bam, look, here's your prescription, go home, have a, have a happy Thanksgiving or whatever you call that holiday. Whew. So that didn't get taken care of. And then I go by urgent care this morning and where I was told that they were open at 8, 8.30, they, in fact, did not open until 9. And after, like, going to the YMCA and all that other stuff, I was, like, pissed. I was like, no, I, I'm not going to wait around. If it gets worse, fine, it gets worse. So, um, here I am sitting down making the video. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> I am so sick and tired of having to jump through fucking hoops. So tired. Like, if I was independently wealthy or whatever, I would have a doctor just come to my house. Um, kind of like, I'm kind of sad that I not, but whatever. So, anyways... Enough about that rant. Uh, last night at Trivia, we did okay-ish. Not our best night, but okay. Uh, got some new players coming on, and uh, we had some unusual energy in there last night. And one of them was this really drunk dude who showed up and was, like, hanging on everybody and, like, that I love you dude um, type of drunk. And at first, when he approached me, I thought, okay, this guy is, you know, just being friendly or what have you. And my shackles were up. Like, everything in me was like, 
keep this guy away from you. Keep this guy away from you. Don't open up to him. Don't take on his energy. Don't do any of that shit. So, I was trying to be, like, nice or whatever. And just like, oh, ha, ha, yeah, awesome. I'm trying to focus on the game here or whatever. Uh... <clears throat> So, yeah, he ended up being a complete clown and um, almost got 86th from the bar. But um, he eventually left of his own volition. Um, so that was interesting. And, uh, yeah, so the last couple of days have just been interesting and upsetting. But I am really enjoying my YMCA class and going and um, just being welcomed and um, getting to know each of the people there and like having meaningful conversations. Like, um, for whatever reason, I well, I I know the reason, um, but I connect better with elderly people like uh 60 plus um even 55 plus but usually it's like 60 plus people i connect really well with and um i attribute that to being uh partially raised by my grandparents and um always being around my grandmother and watching her demeanor and how she interacted with uh the people in her church as well as her friends and um things like that so <clears throat> like when I used to go to church functions and activities all my friends would be hanging out in the chapel or like in the kids room or whatever and I would be in the kitchen with um old church ladies and talking with them and um while the husbands were congregating somewhere else and doing whatever so I was always putting myself in the social sphere of 55 plus people and so, growing up, I connected more and was able to relate better to them than I could my peers or people my own age. And it's still kind of the same thing now. Like, I have a hard time looking at certain people who are, like, 30 and 40 and seeing them as adults, especially if they're, like, my friends. Um, I have a really hard disconnect with age versus adult versus, like, um, teenage, uh, I don't, I don't even know how to say it, like, just being teenagers. Um, even though if they're married with kids or whatever, it's still hard for me to connect that they are adults and, um, you know, it, it, it's weird. And even some married couples, I look at them, I'm just like, yeah, they're boyfriend and girlfriend or whatever, even though I know that they're married. I have, like, this weird wiring that I just don't understand. But, um... So it's, like, really difficult for me to take instruction or see somebody my age or younger than me as an authoritative figure. And, um, it's just like, wow, okay, um, yeah, so, uh, anyways, just being able to connect with these elderly people, it's been really nice, and I feel like I'm able to connect with them as intellectuals versus, like, somebody's parents and grandparents, like, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but... That's one of the things us is um, just being able to do that and um, have fun, work out, and exercise in the process. So um, there's all of that. Um, but yeah, uh, not much else really going on. Watched a couple of good movies over the weekend, and I think I talked about it on Saturday, but um, I honestly can't remember. So. Um, I will recap one of the movies that I watched this weekend that was really amazing. And uh, that is A Christmas Story Christmas. 
and this is part two to the cult classic A Christmas Story about the little boy Ralphie who wanted the BB gun and everyone kept telling him you'll shoot your eye out. Well, um, that, that movie holds a special place in my heart because every year, no matter how bad it was or whatever else, not, not how bad the movie was, but just how bad things were around us or the, our situations or whatever, our family would sit down and watch this m movie. And it was like, for me, it was a hallmark and like touchstone moment that once I started seeing that on TV, I knew that Thanksgiving and Christmas were right around the corner because they always started playing it like just right before Thanksgiving or right after Thanksgiving. And I'm just like, okay, now I know that Christmas is coming up. And, um, it was just a really special thing for me. And like, I have a lot of memories attached to it and like just all these good things. Well, a Christmas st story, Christmas is about Ralphie, who was the little boy who wanted the BB gun. He's now an adult with a wife and children of his own and having to carry on the Christmas tradition of um, like what his mom and dad did for him and his brother. And um, it has all the original actors and actresses in it, which I thought was freaking amazing. And it maintained that like original quality of the first movie which when I first heard they made a sequel to it I was like oh no this is going to suck because you know usually um sequels especially to cult classics just don't live up in my opinion it lived up and it matched the franchise and is a very welcomed addition to the franchise and I can see it being a maybe not a cult classic like the original but definitely holding its place as a good Halloween um, I even uh, I'm if I can find it out on DVD which I'm praying that they will uh, release it I'm going to buy it and add it to my DVD collection and um I just, I can't say enough about it. Um, all the nostalgia was there. All the feelings, all the magic, all of the, like, wow. That was all there. And um, just, just a great movie. So if you guys have access to HBO Max or you find it somewhere else to watch it, I highly recommend it, especially if you are, um, if you are a, uh, fan of the original movie it's it's well worth it so anyways um i am going to call this video quits so if you have any questions comments or concerns put them in the comment section down below if you haven't done so already hit like and subscribe and head on over to the uh podcast anchor.fm slash hello cupcake it's me and uh, go join us over there because there's stuff on the podcast that I talk about that I don't talk about here on YouTube. And uh, you can also head on over to the blog, HelloCupcakeIt'sMe.com, to uh, give that some love, too. Make sure you follow, subscribe, and all that other stuff to all the different medias so that you can be uh, connected to Hello Cupcake, It's Me, and myself <laughs> uh, whenever I update something. And, um, I know that it's kind of politically incorrect to call it Thanksgiving anymore, that it's, um, indigenous people, or celebration of indigenous people, or whatever, but whatever you call this holiday meal that's coming up, I hope that you, your friends, your family, and your loved ones are all taken care of, well-fed, well-blessed, and just thank you so much for being part of my digital family and community. And to all of you that are constantly reaching out to me and sending me emails or messages or interacting with me on the community forum or however you interact with me, thank you so much. 
I hope each and every one of you are blessed and take care and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.